guys, how's it going today? Chelsea here and I'm excited to give you another book haul video. I know it hadn't been long since I did one or I've done one but I slowly but surely collect more books. Most of these were free or really really cheap because I enter a bunch of giveaways constantly because that's a good way to read newer books and get ARCs. So um, I recommend doing that if you are interested in getting free books and most of them are arts, like I said, so do that if you want free books to read. I want to start this video by thanking you guys for all of the views and all the comments and everything and all the subscriptions I've gotten lately. You guys are so awesome and nice and I really, really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. So let's start off with the thrifted books I have since there's fewer of those. I will be stack here of thrifted books. First I have Ready Player One, this nice paperback edition and it's in great condition. The only issue is maybe this little fleck right there. It's really good condition. They even have like a little this book's been used sticker. I got this for one dollar at a thrift store that like helps a children's home in our town and uh, my husband says this is the next book he wants to read and I do eventually want to read it myself but this was kind of more for him so I got this for one dollar used and I'm very very happy about it. If you don't know anything about it, it's just a book that is based off of like a lot of fan service -y, um, <laughs> that makes it sound bad. A lot of video game characters and just characters from media in general. It's about video games and easter eggs and just VR kind of things. We haven't seen the movie. We probably will watch it after we read the book. It's something that he's very interested in because he does play games a lot and I'm a gamer too but he's more so than me. I'm excited to see what this one has to offer. Next I have one that's been on my wish list for a long time. Lane Moriarty's Big Little Lies. This is also a TV show if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a series starring Nicole Kidman and Reese Witherspoon. And uh, Stephen King says, a hell of a good book. Funny and scary. So that's cool that Stephen King's even read this. I think it's kind of a thriller, but it's so bright and colorful and poppy and fun that I don't know what it is exactly. I've only heard from random people that it's like really good and I haven't read any of her books before. So I'm really excited to check this out. It's pretty famous. We'll see what I think about it. I found this for 25 cents at a Salvation Army. That's a good deal normal price. I think it's like $18. 10 or 18 I can't tell. But yeah, I'm excited to read this one. Next, I kind of just randomly picked this one. It's called The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer, a three-time Newbery Honor author. It has all these awards on the front. I looked this up and it has really high ratings, but I honestly have no clue what it is. It says on the back that there's a character who was not born. He was harvested. So it's like a DNA really strange world. It, it seems like a fiction, possibly science fiction -y kind of story. Story, and um, it's a YA if I'm not mistaken. We'll see. I, it, yeah, it's a science fiction. It was a library book, I think. And uh, I got it for 25 cents. And I'm excited to give it a shot. I'm really trying to explore the types of books that I'm reading. Yeah, Collins Rivers Middle School Library. That's cool. There's a little stamp in it. Full price, this would have been $7.99. So hmm, that was pretty cheap to begin with. I got it for 25 cents. Next, I have this book, My Husband's Wife. And I think this was the Target purchase. Um, it does have some significant damage to the cover here, but it was 25 cents and I wanted to check it out because it's fairly new title. I think this came out in, yeah, 2016, I think. So it's fairly new. Um, I've heard it's good and it's $17 originally and I paid 25 cents for it. it seems really good. It's like a thriller. My husband's wife, I mean, it sounds pretty drama inducing. When young lawyer Lily marries Ed, she's determined to make a fresh start and leave the secrets of the past behind. Then she makes her first case and meets Joe, a convicted murderer who to whom Lily is strangely drawn and for whom she will soon be willing to risk almost anything. That sounds fun. We'll see how that goes. Okay, now I'm gonna get to my arcs that I have either entered giveaways for or they were sent to me from someone that kindly I asked for it and they sent it. Um, you've already seen some of these, I think, in my TBR for the month of May, Into the Jungle by Erica Fenner-Berensic. Can't say words. Seems like a fun story, a thriller based in the jungle, and um, I'm really excited to read it. I have not started it yet, so maybe I'll get to it very soon. It comes out in, comes out this month, May 21st. If you're interested, pick this one up and let me know what you think of it. I would like to know what everybody else thinks of it after I've already read it, and uh, maybe we can talk about it later. This other one that I've already shown you is The Missing Years by Lexi Elliott. It is about a girl who inherits half of a home and it starts to come alive or to have spooky things happen and it's just really spooky I've heard. It's based in Scotland. Um, it seems really fun and I've heard good things about it so I'm gonna check that out and see what I think about it. It also 
is already out now. It came out April 23rd. Check this one out as well if you're interested. I'll be sure to put the links for every book in this video in the description so you can purchase them or pre-order them if you're interested because I know how hard it is to sometimes find certain books. I don't know why. I'm not sponsored or anything. This is just a fun video. This is from the author of The French Girl, which I've never heard of. Okay, and these are the books I won from giveaways in various places. This is a final copy of The Last Second, A Brit in the FBI Thriller um, by Katherine Coulter and J.T. Ellison. No idea who they are, but when I read the synopsis, it sounded really fun. And there's a big picture of the woman. <laughs> I'll read you the synopsis really quick because it's so... It's either really good or it's going to be insane. Galactus, France's answer to SpaceX, has just launched a communication satellite into orbit, but the payload actually harbors a frightening weapon, a nuclear-triggered electromagnetic pulse. When the satellite is in position, Galactus's second-in-command, Dr. N blah blah blah, will have the power to lay waste to the world with the EMP. A former astronaut, Paul, believes he, she is following the directions of the Newman aliens who served her, saved her life when she spacewalked outside the International Space Station. She is convinced that with the Holy Grail, just discovered by the owner of Galactus, an eccentric treasure hunter, blah 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 blah, she can be reunited with the Newman, change the world's destiny, and become immortal with them. And it goes on and on, but... That tells you what kind of book this is going to be. I'm very interested. And uh, originally it's $28, $27.99 American. And uh, I got it for free. So that was really exciting. Entering giveaways is a good way to get books. Especially if you don't have the money for them. It has this really nice cover. Very simple. I like the way you can kind of feel the cracks right here. And it's raised lettering. I like hardcover. I didn't expect it to be hardcover. I thought it was going to be another arc. So uh, that was a good surprise to open this up. Next I have A Hero is Born, which is a newly English translated novel that I won for my husband on Goodreads. It says 300 million copies sold worldwide. Legends of the Condor Heri Heroes 1. So this is a four, bar four part series and this is the first one. It's about a samurai and it sounds really cool. I might read it after he's done with it. We'll see but I mainly got this for him and it's like really big. I figured it would be like a mass market paperback kind of thing, but no, this is really good quality raised lettering. Very pretty. I don't see a price anywhere, but this is an advanced copy and it goes out on September 17th. So be sure to check that out. It's supposedly really good with that many copies sold worldwide. So check that out. Next, I have this one from an Instagram giveaway. Um, I can't remember who it was that I wanted it from, but if I think of it, I'll put it in the description. Um, from M. William Phelps, star of Investigation Discoveries, Dark Minds, so that's who the author is. Where Monsters Hide. Sex, Murder, and Madness in the Midwest. So it's a true crime novel, and it's very big. It is a advanced reader copy, I think. No? I can't tell. But it's originally $15.95 US, and um, I love true crime. It's even got some pictures in there. You can see about the murder, so that'll be fun to read. I'm very excited. I love true crime novels. And the last book that I have for this haul is The Wedding Party by Jasmine Guillory? 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 Best-selling author of The Proposal and The Wedding Date. And I have heard of those. So this is about these two people who hate to love each other kind of story. And it's a romance and I'm really excited to read it because I don't have any more romances currently in my library. It comes out July 16th, 2019. It'll be $15 American. That'll be fun. I'm really excited. Like it's a Reese Witherspoon, Reese Witherspoon book pick. So that'll be really, really fun. But yeah, that's pretty much all that I have. I love how shiny and glittery the letters are on there. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. I am really enjoying doing this, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you'll subscribe if you're new here. I want to meet you guys. I want to get to know you guys. You guys are awesome, and I'm enjoying the BookTube Bookstagram community. Feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. I'll put that in the description. I post a lot of book reviews and book pictures and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day.